going on everybody so today we got this uh, walk-in freezer We've got two evaporators um, I already pumped down the circuit we're at about 2 psi and this is gonna be our issue today all right so this hand valve right here was leaking pretty bad from right inside those threads I did take this off and I tried tightening up that packing, but it still was leaking. So I uh, informed the customer and they said change it out. You can see right here, all the oil. So it was leaking pretty bad. You can see all the oil stains all the way down here. Got some oil right there. So I'm gonna change this out. I already pumped it down like I said. So let's get started. You got safety glasses? And the car. Got the hand valve out. I'm gonna open this up later, but for now, got my buddy right here. I'm gonna replace it with a new ball valve. Now we're gonna put the uh, access port on the evaporator side simply for uh, service purposes so if uh, we ever have to pull that strainer change that valve or something we can always close that ball valve put a gauge on this side and make sure that there's no liquid left so that's that's the decision we made that access port is going to remain on the evaporator side so the wet rag froze inside the freezer duh right <laughs> So we got the valve in place. Now we just need to wet rag it. Even though it's 10 degrees inside that freezer, I still don't want to burn that valve up. So once we do this, I'm gonna show you how long this line set is, and we're gonna pull a vacuum. Rag on it. It's sticking to everything because it's frozen. So that should be good to go. I'm gonna have my buddy here uh, do his best brazing. See if I'll hire him again. Alright guys, we got the ball valve sweated in. Ah, I'm not gonna lie, it hurts being in here. My buddy Jose was able to do about 80% of it up here. He couldn't get this backside, so I came I came in here and sweated it in. We did have it uh, wet rag, and uh, we couldn't get this back part, so I had to come in here and sweat it, but it's good to go. But like I was saying, we're gonna put this uh, tab on the evaporator side because um, that way, if we ever shut this off and uh, we need to pull the screen, uh, um, I, not, I understand we have this tap right here on the suction, but um, if we wanted to, we could just put a gauge right here, shut it off, watch our pressure go down to rack pressure, and then we can open this up safely. So we'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and uh, start pulling a vacuum. Now, I'm gonna show you the, the line set on this, why we cannot pressure test this with nitrogen. So this is where you have to completely trust your work, especially on a liquid line. So let me go show you the line set. Right, so here's the freezer. You can see the line set comes up right here. And goes across right here. So let's go that way. And we're gonna take about a 200 foot run that way. It's a pretty big line set. Watch it drop. All right, guys, we're at about 8,000. Gonna go ahead and close our gas ballast. We're gonna let it run, see how low we can get this baby. Good to go. All right, guys, we've been going for about 11 minutes now. 1700 microns now this is where 
I'm probably gonna piss a lot of you off because I'm not going to 500. I guarantee you this valve's not holding, but I definitely guarantee you this valve right here is not holding very well. That's why I had to uh, disconnect this solenoid because this valve's absolutely not holding very well. So we're gonna go down as low as possible and we're gonna try to get a decent decay test. Once we do that, we'll be good to go, guys. We're gonna uh, open up our liquid line. We're gonna try to pressurize it to about 50, 60 PSI. Go do a leak check on our joints. And if we're good to go, we're gonna let it rip. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and let a little bit of liquid go in so we can do a uh, pressure test. Hundred pounds on our liquid line back there. We're gonna go ahead and go do a salt bubble check at the uh, at the evaporator. Alright guys, back in the freezer. And we don't have a gusher, so let's get to go. We're gonna use a little bit of the big blue micro leak. That one right there. Freezing. No bubbles. Bottom joint. No bubbles, so we're good to go. No bubbles, no leaks. No leaks. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and open everything up and let it rip. Guys, as I was uh, videoing this, I realized that my valve was closed, so I just opened it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get a little bit of this uh, soap bubbles in there. But yeah, we're good to go. This joint's good. Yeah, so I just opened this up. Dumb me. Rookie mistake. All right, guys. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and open this up. One of them. Second one right here. Suction line. And then we also have to open up the hot gas, hot gas defrost line. All right, we opened up all the ball valves. We're just gonna go do a final verification check. We're not leaking anywhere inside the freezer. We're done. Where's that line set? All the way down that way. Right now, you can hear the hot gas flowing through. This is a hot gas defrost system. So, hot gas comes in through the suction line, defrosts the evaporator and comes back out the liquid. So yeah, you can feel it, it's definitely warm. But yeah, we're not leaking. We're good to go, guys. So, oh, I just gotta strap this up. But that'll be it, guys. Everybody, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.